Well, STS Edition 2 was created because of various needs, one of them being security, where the current system was really coming to the end of its life. It's been around for 30 odd years and uh, we felt that it was necessary to keep up with technology. So that's one of the features. Uh, the other feature is a new key management system which allows us to do the TID rollover which is going to be happening in 2024. Um, and then additions that members have asked us to do. Uh, different functionality, for example, the addition of new tokens in the token space. So it's really a, a culmination of various requests, both from members and from the industry and from security requirements within, within the industry. The smart space actually fits in, or, or STS fits in very well, because STS is not doesn't dictate how a meter behaves. So you can have a meter with multiple features. STS only dictates how you send tokens or information to a meter. The communication channel you use is irrelevant. You can send it with smoke signals if you like, quite frankly. So it fits in well. And in fact, to make sure that it fits in well, the STS Association got hold of the DLMS Association in Europe and said, can we have a channel to be able to send STS tokens through the DLMS, which is predominantly used for smart metering? And they said, yes, of course. So now we have a specification that allows uh, users of smart meters or manufacturers of smart meters to use STS on exactly the same smart meter channel. I think our biggest challenge, which we didn't know about and we have been communicating about for probably the last four or five years, is the TID rollover. The TID rollover is essentially um, a counter that, that, that lives inside the meter token that after 24 years you run out of physical counting space and it rolls over back to zero. So what has to happen is the meter needs to get a key change. Now this is something that was designed in uh, to stop people replaying the same token over again. It's actually the number of minutes that have elapsed since 1993, that's what it is. And with the amount of space we have, that rolls over in 2024. So we've put together a program now for our members uh, and for utilities uh, to change or do a key change on the existing meters before 2024. It doesn't affect the meters at all. Uh, some people have said, oh, must I throw away my meters and get new ones? Not at all. The meters are designed from the very beginning to handle this. It does require that vending systems are updated um, and that process has started. The SCSA developed a new key management center for that, developed new standards for the vending systems for that. So the process has been going for probably four to five years. And hopefully everybody will play ball and get their meters changed because there is no extension to this. 2024 is a drop dead date. If you haven't, uh, if they haven't applied that and they try and use a token they purchased before, it won't work. And in fact, if they purchase any token, it won't work in the meter. So it is literally a drop dead date. Okay, it's not like a Y2K where yeah, it may affect our system or it may not. This definitely will affect the system. 24th of November 2024 at 8.15 in the morning is the time and date when that rollover is back to zero.